there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Tabo aka Tabi. And in today's video, we are addressing the elephant in the room. Umkaba. <laughs> the belly fat. So there are a few factors that contribute to our belly fat. The number one thing is calorie surplus. When we get older, we come to to be more stagnant than when we were younger like we live kind of a sedentary lifestyle and willingly because sometimes the body is not able anymore like you just want to sit down all day and go to the fridge come back on the couch just watch netflix and do nothing that's how you accumulate a lot of calories that you don't need most of the fats when we grow older they go to the midsection unfortunately because when we were younger remember in puberty when a, a, a girl child is developing the production of estrogen uh, directs the body fats to go to the hips and bum to prepare for pregnancy but that doesn't happen when you grow older <laughs> Hipsters to lie. Uh, the other thing that uh, contributes to calorie surplus is consumption of sugary food and beverages. Fructose in those sugary food raises your blood sugar levels and uh, as soon as your blood sugar levels go up, the body will be like, okay, no, I'm resting, so I, I don't need uh, so much calories, so I'll keep some for later <laughs> that's how it goes to the midsection okay. second thing that uh, contributes to our weight gain around the midsection is a decrease in metabolism as we grow older like everything slows down when you grow older the energy levels decline your metabolism the muscles start to waste away like everything just falls apart that's why you need to soldier up and do something to help yourself the third factor actually affects us ladies because it leads to body fat distribution changes menopause aging this uh inevitable but what happens when we, we we grow older the estrogen levels kind of drops the body fats are going to be directed to the belly rather than the, the lower sections but studies have shown that we accumulate especially ladies more fats goes rather to the abdominal area rather than to the hips when we were younger number four features our mental health yes our mental health can contribute to weight gain stress and lack of sleep because if you are stressed sometimes you find it very difficult to sleep which in return tends to make you stay awake most of the night and mostly myself when i'm awake i gonna feel hungry and i'm like boy i need some food so you are bound to go down and find something to comfort yourself because most people they when they are stressed they find comfort in food especially junk food it's very good in relieving stress but it's not good for our bodies <laughs> So the fifth thing on the list we have medication because not everyone is healthy as we think because you never know what the person is going through sometimes you'll see somebody's always happy they're smiling they they just seem unbothered but deep down you don't know what pain they're going through the struggle they're going through because the disease that you are going through can affect your mental health as well some people are going through pain, some people are going through a lot of uh, some ailments like depression, like uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, all sorts of illnesses that you can think of. Medication can cause weight gain. 
Medications like uh, antidepressants can cause weight gain. Medication like steroids, they can m massively increase your weight and uh, contribute as well to bloating. You get so bloated when you're on steroids. Family prevention pills, they can cause weight gain as well. Today in the video as well, we're going to be making as usual a very tasty, interesting recipe which is packed with nutrients will help you to lose weight and also eat a healthy balanced diet so we are making shrimp and a pasta dish which is full of herbs so but we are not going to be using the regular pasta good news we are using zucchini noodles as our spaghetti let's get to ways of combating our fat belly number one balanced diet you need to eat balanced diet when you grow older you will realize that a lot of carbs are not good for you that's why you need either complex carbohydrates or you need to include less carbohydrates and more protein and fat in your diet so that you can be able to maintain your blood sugar levels you need to also incorporate exercise in your life for a walk do something okay because the more you sit down you're going to be accumulating more, more more and more fat so a sedentary lifestyle is not good for you as you grow older but your body tends to tell you okay i need rest please maybe tomorrow don't listen to it it's a trap so you need to do strength training exercises and resistance and a bit of lifting that's what you need to be doing rather than doing a lot of cardio because you need to try and build the muscles as they assist in burning more calories even when we are resting there are lots of uh zumba exercises on youtube and uh, yeah that's where that's what saves me most of the time you also need to do up exercises <laughs> i always try this like believe you me if i was doing up exercises i would have like the best abs in the world but boy i, I just find those very hard to do I must confess, you can go for a jog or a run, but if your job involves a lot of walking, you are doing enough. The other thing that we can do to reduce weight gain around the midsection is, it's easier said than done, reducing stress. Stress is part of our lives as adults and is inevitable. But there are ways that you can deal with stress, like myself, I have started incorporating in my lifestyle guided meditation. So many on YouTube channel that you can use because it will just tell you what to do because for me, meditation was not part of my life until I started researching and reading about self-love and self-care nature walks as well can help you to distress walking through maybe a park or just in the forest where it's safer it can greatly reduce your overthinking and stress and you kind of feel refreshed in a way journaling your thoughts you know there is a power in journaling because you kind of jot down your thoughts what is going on in your mind what are your thoughts how you are feeling you kind of pen it down in a piece of paper that kind of works major reading and uh, you don't necessarily have to read something like technical like uh, research projects or anything like that just reading a nice book fiction or something it can help you to distress when it's time to sleep 
try to put your phone away and go to sleep switch off your phone if need be and just sleep it's good for you and it's good for your mental health as well the other thing that you can do if you are struggling with your weight you can look for help there is no shame in looking for help if you are stuck and you don't know what you are doing health coaches are there for a reason like myself as soon as i start taking paying clients you'll be the first to know because we are here to not tell you what to do but to guide you and lead you to your transformation and breakthrough and also other multidisciplinary health personnel they can help you to lose weight in a healthy way like the dietitians they can help you work out your diet what you need to eat uh, if you have a problem you can always contact your doctor as well and talking to family and friends as well if you are free to tell your family about your intention of joining a weight loss journey it's good to talk to someone your friends will always listen to you your family is always there to support you and your spouse as well because sometimes if there is no communication between the two parties it's going to be hard to work out your routine because if you're going to say change the way you prepare your meals and you haven't informed the other person they'll be like why are we eating like this now i'm not eating that so you need to communicate also finding a workout buddy even virtually like these days everything is done in the internet because of the covid 19 virtual zumba classes virtual like body exercise you can work out with your friends through the internet so that will keep you in track and they, it will keep you accountable so if you are new in this channel please do subscribe to my channel and also if you are a regular here do click that like button give this video a thumbs up and also share it with your friends so that they're inspired to start their weight loss journey and also give me in the comment section what things you would like us to discuss because this topic was inspired by one of the comments from my cousin he asked uh, what we can do to reduce belly fat but uh, not only him i have been getting a lot of questions about how to reduce belly fat so now it's time for us to go to the kitchen and see what's cooking i'm so excited for today's dish because you know when you are using zucchini there is less cooking involved really because you don't have to cook the zucchini it's just like a snap away from your fork so when you are ready let's go to the kitchen i'm going to need the following I'm going to use the parmesan cheese and the sun-dried tomatoes mainly for garnishing. My seasonings include dill, pink salt and black pepper. So I'm going to start off by spiralizing the zucchini or courgette. And if you don't have a spiralizer, you can thinly cut your zucchini using a knife. And also remember that you don't have to cook the zucchini otherwise it's gonna be full of water and the other thing you can use uh, fresh sherry tomatoes instead of sun-dried tomatoes it's perfectly fine and I like to chop all my vegetables before I start cooking as you can see that's the coriander and I'm also going to crush the garlic to simply melt some butter or you can use oil to fry your garlic and you add in your prawns 
The prawns basically cook 3 to 4 minutes on each side and then you are going to add your spring onion and your coriander. And uh, when that is done, you are going to add the cream that you are using and the seasoning. And then you are basically going to balance your courgette using hot boiling water. What you simply do is you run hot water over it and you are going to mix with the cooked ingredients. And lastly, I added my green pesto. <laughs> Unfortunately, the camera skipped that part, but enjoy! Such an effortless dish to put together and uh, it's so beautiful, it's so tasty, it's full of flavor and uh, as usual the color popping does it for me. So one thing I want to tell you today in this video, in life we always say we live once which is not true. We live every day and uh, we die once that's how the slogan should go god forbid nobody wants to talk about death but on serious note you need to live your life live your life every day because this is your actual life it's not a rehearsal most people say oh I want to have this and that as when I'll start living my life. No. What if to, tomorrow you are not there to, to see another day? Would you be proud to have lived the way you lived? Don't hold yourself back. Like, live your life and uh, be responsible in living your life because sometimes we get the wrong messages living your life doesn't mean being reckless you have to just live your best life do the things that you like so this is all for today and uh, i'll be happy to see you again on the next video i love you bye